here at Custom Audio Video today with Carlos Ramos. Thank you for joining us here on Girl Talk. We're excited to come and see you as always. And today we're going to talk about something that's a little secretive, if you will. <laughs> what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to talk about hidden technologies a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, at Custom Audio Video, it's something that we specialize in. You know, frequently when people think of audio and video, some of the hidden technologies that they think of are hidden wires, which is a lot of what we do. So, uh, you know, when you have a surround sound system or a stereo system or even, even shading and things like that that's automated, we can hide wiring through crawl spaces, down walls, uh, under, under uh, baseboards. Exactly. It, it's interesting for me because as a designer, one of the things, whether it's new renovate, whether it's new construction or renovation, people always want flush mounted. They want things that aren't visible. That's mm -hmm. sort of the look these days. And I think coming in here today, I've actually had a lot of fun wandering around with you <laughs> at some of the things we're going to see. Yeah. You don't know what you don't know. Right. And the things that are hidden today, as far as audiovisual, are pretty impressive. What are you going to show us? So the first thing that I'd like to show you is a product called TrueFig. And what TrueFig allows you to do is flush mount devices, electronic devices, including things like electrical outlets, so flat cool. on any finished surface. So we see it here on wood. Mm -hmm. It can be done on stone. It can be done on stone. It can be done on on plaster. It can be done on sheetrock. Uh, basically, any surface that you can think of. One of the most common applications is an electrical outlet, say, in a stone backsplash in a kitchen. Exactly. And it's really beautiful because what happens in a situation like that is instead of having unsightly outlets which are required every few feet by code, what you're gonna have is something like this, which is here, you see this Amazing. faux painted to the wood. Look at that. And there would normally be an electrical outlet back mm -hmm. here. Right now, this is just a demo without the electrical outlet. Or electrical outlet. We're right. having one full blown demo that's actually working installed in our showroom and it should be done in the next few days. Mm -hmm. So people can certainly come by and take a look at that. Um, but other things that can be installed are control panels. If you have, if you have uh, touch panels on walls or even, or even like lighting control and things like that, all of that can be flush mounted on a wall. And the purpose is really more aesthetic than anything. Absolutely. And I think what's been interesting about what you told me about some of these true fit pieces are that um, you faux paint actually mm -hmm. the, what do you call it? The fascia. Yeah, the fascia, exactly, mm -hmm. for that. One of the things that you have here that I think is kind of fun that you're going to show us right uh -huh. now is are some of the um, interesting ways to disguise, if you will, mm -hmm. some of your audiovisual equipment. Yeah, absolutely. And here we have something Look at called, this. yep, mm -hmm. it's something called an art lift. Uh, you can have numerous types of art lifts. Here you see the one that covers the painting and then raises, or I should say the painting covers the TV and then raises above the TV. There are other types which will actually be within the frame and w the painting will roll up within the frame and another one that has the painting split in half and will go from side to side. Now talk to me about the painting. Are there specific kinds of paintings that you can get, different sizes? How does all that work? So this is done by a company called Media Decor and they have literally hundreds of pieces of artwork that you can select from as well as frames, but they also work in custom in custom devices. So if you don't find a piece of artwork that, right. that you like, or even the frame type, they will custom make something for you, or you can send them a piece of artwork. For you them know, it's funny it. that you even mentioned that because I've got a um, gentleman right now that is dying to have his TV over his fireplace, mm -hmm. and his wife's like, no. Mm -hmm. But this is like a, the perfect solution because you're kind of having your cake and eating it too. Absolutely. Another thing that people frequently do for televisions over a fireplace would be what is called a, uh, a hidden mirror display by a company called Ciara. And basically what it is is you look at it without the television being turned on and you see a mirror. Okay. You turn the television on and all of a sudden through that mirror you see a television. And, and they, are, they really are very nice. You would never know that there's a television in that room. Basically you would think there's a, there's a mirror. Another application that people use for that is frequently installing them in bathrooms. Oh, exactly. So that, so that you, have a large, you have the large mirror in your bathroom and then in the bottom of That's that cool. you have a small TV screen. Oh, that makes so mm -hmm. much sense. You know, one thing I saw that was interesting when you were dragging me around was mm -hmm. the... Um, I think it was a chest of drawers. Yes. Not that you were dragging me around, but you know, <laughs> we were looking 
interestingly. Uh -huh. you know, but you had a chest of drawers. It's a custom piece of woodwork that also has lifts built into it. So you have a TV that rises and drops through that, through that mm -hmm. custom piece of woodwork and also a coffee pot. And understand, again, for somebody like me who's a designer, right? And if I want to face a bed out overlooking the ocean or a beautiful mm -hmm. view, where am I going to put my TV? Mm -hmm. I'd love to be able to put it at the end of the bed mm -hmm. if I had something like that, that it could rise and fall. Or you could also put it in your ceiling. We have a, oh. we have a demo here, which is not a TV, but it can be done with a TV, and we have done it. But here we have a screen, a projection screen and a projector. Both uh -huh. of them drop out of a ceiling. And, and both. I mean, so you could, I don't have to pick one. I can have both. That is correct. Let, talk to me a little bit, because I know we've got just a couple of minutes left, about how we make all of these decisions. How do I decide? Again, I said I, I don't know what I don't know. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you like me to come armed with when I come in? Well, basically, think of what you want. Don't, don't think of what you know and what you don't know. Oh. Say, this is what I would like, and we'll figure it out for you. If you can think of it, it can be done. It's pretty amazing when you think about it, things that are hidden. I, and we talked about this before, and we talk about it all the time. It is an evolving um, business. It mm -hmm. seems like every single time I come in, there are <laughs> brand new, really, there are brand new um, applications for audiovisual things. Again, Carlos, thank you for joining us My here. My pleasure. Thank you all for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a wonderful week.